strap yourselves in because it's time for another stuff we like po show episode episode po show <laughs> segment <laughs> so it is the first of the month uh at least at the time of recording this well second of the month actually uh so as per usual we're going to talk about kingdom of loathing well, at least for uh, most of it anyway we're gonna i i've kind of semi-retired with that with the game? Yeah. You're kind because, of like, I, I already burnt myself out on trying to get a trophy. Right. Uh, and then, you know, that when I found out it was taking longer than normal, uh, and I just got discouraged after, like, one low haul, then I'm like, fuck it. To me, I, the, I kind of um, am learning that I'm not built to chain runs. Maybe no one is, because other people I've seen leave comments that are like, yeah, I was chain smoking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not not. I, they, they'll say like I was chain smoking uh, Avatar of Sneaky Pete runs, and it felt horrible. Like I, like I had like a huge hangover from it or something. And... Yeah, dude, Akerson has been doing like he, Akerson's like been trying to kill himself getting to the leaderboards. Yeah, and it's like, and I know it's a free for all I... right now because we're all on like equal footing, but holy crap, dude! I mean, I I just don't have time right now to do this kind of thing um and it got fr- i think it got frustrating for me when i would i would put the time in to day one and then i would put the time in to day two and then day three like i would just not have any time to play and it, it would just go by without a turn being played and i could have been finished with the run and so then it was like well why am i even doing stuff like well on the first two days if it's if it's gonna be like a five day run because I'm too busy in life to actually like log in. So Well I was going to say it was gonna say along the lines of, well, these people on the leaderboards they basically make careers out of it, but they're you don't make a career out of like a free to play game. Well, it's a hobby. It's a hobby. It's a hobby that I think well, we have we have multiple hobbies, honestly. I, I Yeah. I do this podcast uh, I read, I play video games, but then I remember like some people just consolidate their free time in the hobbies just to do this one thing. I think to me, well, they could have, a, I don't know, but yeah, but yeah, I see they're more meticulously they're more planning into it. each um, click. It's probably fun for them to do that. I I think for me, what draws me to the game is that there's a lot of different things to do, and I can't just sit in these. It's not fun for me to repeat the same it's like it'd be like playing uh you know one level of sonic the hedgehog over and over Over and and over over. like i can't i I don't i want to just like do other stuff i want to go to the casino zone and just play the slot machines you know what i mean like i um I'm still talking about Sonic the Hedgehog, but but no, I get you. I get you know you. what I, I mean. Love you want to like best music in the game? Yeah, dude. Uh, I really like um, collecting factoids, and I like chipping away at different things in the game that I can complete and build towards. And it's nice to have. You know, it doesn't bother me that it takes a long time for some of that stuff, but it's nice to have a bunch of different things that are waiting to be checked off, and knowing that. I can go to this thing. I can go to that thing. I can yeah. Not, you can really. You can I can make knock your a run out. I can go meat farm and like when it's a seasonal path. I'm like, oh well. Drop everything. Success, you, you know, this run builds the next run builds upon the next. You know, it, they all build upon each other so that you get these skills and uh, you want to do them fast because you want to get karma and you can get more karma if you do them faster. And it's just like after a while. I ended up in a run where I didn't have time to play some days, and then the days I did have time to play, I wasn't into it anymore. Like, I was just like, I just want to play League of Legends today. Like, I don't, this is like work. I don't want to do this. So it dragged out for like two weeks, this run. Yeah. And now I'm just like, I probably shouldn't do another run right now. I like, should just I'm just have fun. I'm getting to the point where I'm like, I hated Mafia before. I hated the idea of having <coughs> something automate for you, but then I remembered, well... I mean, I may as well have someone run something, I guess. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh, like, I feel... If you're not doing anything, it's better than nothing, probably. Yeah, I feel bad because, like, I've, like, actually talked... I talk with people in the game. Yeah. I talk with people in the game. You always advise against Mafia. Against, like, running scripts that are overly, like, do everything for you. Yeah, and then I actually did that. I actually did an Ascension script, and, uh... Holy crap! It was like buggy as all hell. It's like well, well, it's a lot of things to cover. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to have this unlocked. 
we'll just do this instead. No, you have to have this unlocked. Like, they're not going to do anything. And then there was, like, a point where uh, it just spent turns in the haunted bathroom. Yeah. For no goddamn reason. It wasn't even, like, trying to prep... It's uh, probably the, the guy most efficient beat. place to level or something if you're in Myst class, maybe. I don't know. I wasn't even in Myst class. Uh, I was in Moxie class. I, was I just, don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to spend turns. And then when I noticed it was doing that, I'm like, oh, fine, I'll do it myself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know some people, I know oh, well, you have, to, you have to do it like this. I'm like, well, then why even bother? <laughs> why even bother doing that? But uh, I talk with people in the game, I talk with people in the clan, and I feel bad because when I just don't care anymore, I just run the script, I don't go and chat, and like, that's it. So if I if I have, like, a way of communicating with you outside of the game, like Steam or text message or Facebook, like, I, I, I want to stay friends, dude. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, if you're going to leave the game. Yeah, but, like, eventually if I do leave the like, I do text people, oh, hell, we do this show together. Yeah. We do the show together. And, like, I don't see you online that much. No, yeah? I'm not. Well, I'm online um, at different hours now. So. Uh, I log in. I, You know, whatever. I log in when I get into work. Yeah. And then when I, when I start to feel things piling up, that's when I leave. Okay. But, I mean, like, I just kind of, like, have it open. And, like, on occasion, I just kind of, like, pop things in the chat. I'm... Yeah, I'll, I'll like read chat, scan it, and say something. I always say I always say something that's like, uh, <coughs> someone will ask a serious question, and I'll just give an answer that's a total joke, and no one will acknowledge me. And people, would, I'll just be this like it's like I'm not even there. I acknowledge just you. Saying, I just don't want to. I don't want to give horrible credit. jokes. Um, a person that I used to do mercenary hobopolis work for, like a year or two ago recently messaged me and was like hey are you interested in this like you can just come in mess around in hobopolis and like get the outfit pieces you need and like do these uh hamster runs with us and i was like i was like in the middle of this two-week ed run that i wasn't finishing and i was like yeah that sounds pretty good like i should probably just do that <laughs> like and, yeah right just like, but, like shift gears completely but now i'm on it like weird t- like like this like thursday to sunday like i'm probably sparingly on and then like the other three days of the week i can be on like 20 you know i'm up like all the time i'll be up at like 4 a.m or something and also to you know all i'll sleep like during the time that people normally have dinner and so i'm like up through like the evening to the late afternoon it's like a weird schedule for me sleep schedule but yeah. Now it's like semi retirement right other now. Thing. Like like I'm working but I also um met a girl who shares a, a work schedule that I share, so she's off when I'm off. Nice. So it's like Well now you have now a... my days off aren't even like super available for to play. It's Yeah, so then maybe you just stop. I don't know. Yeah. Like I'm I don't think I'm going to stop for a while just because like I, I feel obligated to keep doing stuff for them. You know what I mean? A, one day I'll have a job where I can... Um, oh, I remember what I was going to talk readily about. Readily play this game. Yeah. I remember what I, it is the weirdest thing uh, when you bleep people. And you have to you have to kind of like continue in like a group conversation as if they're and not they're, there. Yeah. Because uh, I, I bleep someone that like is very annoying. <laughs> Holy hell. Like, I know who you're He will not about. shut up. I'm not going to give any clues. To yeah. Anything. He won't shut up. Yeah. Even if you, like, give very... If you give one-word answers, or if you're just like, I don't want that answer, or that's not how I want to do it, they will not stop talking. <laughs> so... This has I, been several people over time, I think. Yeah, no, it, but, it's uh, kind of like, it's grew to a collection. <laughs> it's grew to be a collection. Uh, but the thing of it is, um, yeah. they're also still active in, yeah, yeah, I know. in this large chat room that I'm in. So I'm like, uh, I have to... If someone says something that's, like, <laughs> out of nowhere, I'm like, oh, why did you say that? And then I have to remember, oh, fuck, that's right. Someone else talking. is talking that is a ghost to me now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, could someone help me with this? Oh, but what if I have, but what do I have to do the leather for? I'm like, <laughs> what? So, I just, I remember... Like, I couldn't do that when I was later, because, like, that would be, that would kind of be a very per- counterproductive thing... If the one person in charge doesn't want to talk to you, that would be terrible. 
I I remember meat farming back before Dinsyland and like honing it to like this crap. You know, like these are like the best. I would do the math and like the research and like, okay, this is better than this and this item is better than that. And now I feel like I still have some pretty good tools and I want to go there and just uh, meat farm. Yeah, right. But it makes me like. I, I love seeing I I hate I'm sarcastic I sarcastically love seeing people who are now who have Disneyland and they're all like oh yeah like I'm meat farming this much and I'm like oh like just wait till I get it and go there I'm you know gonna... what I, like I I think but I I don't know what I to hate buy people that now. brag about these kind of things yeah you know what I mean I might start buying a bunch of stuff and knocking out like yeah I, yeah I know. It feels good. So this it's a weird game because you it's it's a single player game. So your accomplishments are yours alone, and then you tell other people about them, and they either also have them and don't think, and they're like, "Yeah, I have that," or they're like, "They don't have it," and they're like, "What do you, you know? What are you gonna say?" Yeah, to I had like I, I have like, like a mini. Wow, that's great. You know, did, I, but did you... I already say the story about like the the when I got the dreadful pajamas outfit? No, it actually took me like a a, a, a couple of days to like consciously decide to get it yeah and i'm like oh man i finally got it i finally got the outfit i'm so happy and then this guy just says oh yeah i've already had that yeah <laughs> i had i've had that for like uh like a year now and then i like like said all, i wasn't even mad but i basically said in all caps well i guess no one else can be proud now <laughs> looks like you have it <laughs> but then so you know it's both sides yeah like what are you gonna i don't know <laughs> I'm never really thrilled when other people talk about their stuff. I'm always thrilled to talk about my stuff. Yeah, well, that's how it always is. Like you're not. <laughs> like I'm. I'm glad that we're in a community that like is like very supportive or just like, hey, good job. Yeah. Like even if they're being facetious about it, they're not gonna let you know. Yeah. It's like, hey, good job. It's like, uh, you know what it's like. Or the friendly ribbing, just kind of like, yeah, well, looks like you got some ketchup to do. <laughs> but it's still like, it's still fun to know that. But then there are like the people that keep bragging about it, like, dude, just shut up. I think it's fun to ha because it's like, it's like crows. It's like crow. Okay, a crow goes out on its own during the day, to like find food, <coughs> fly around. But at night, they all. Uh, gather together in the same tree to sleep or something and it's like this way of like if you went out and you starved today like you can find a crow who looks well fed and you can follow him out tomorrow it's like a way of sharing information and protecting each other and like I think like that's like to me the clan is like I could have been off the page for a while and come back in and just uh, be like hey what's going on oh how is this how's you know like I, I was talking about Kokomo and then they were like oh it's gonna be less than 24 hours I was like oh really like yeah, I just right? brought that up from like oh when is this gonna come out next month like and uh June or something I don't know yeah oh I'm so and happy then it came about out that. you know I am so happy about Kokomo yeah you like yeah, that but, yeah no I got I <laughs> believe me I love when you can get free things and like sell it and like it's to me, I so would, I'm just going to I'm going to keep generating the passes and just keep selling them. I wish I could know how many people have stuff. Yeah, right. You know, it would be I wonder cool. if anyone's complained about it. Now that I think about it, what? Like, oh, I didn't do the PvP thing, but now there's a place with factoids and things to do, and I yeah. didn't do it. Too bad. Yeah. Too... <laughs> buy the passes. <laughs> yeah, buy the pass. Yeah, shut up, <laughs> buy the passes, or go do PvP next time. At least like this season, they yeah. just started a new season where. Like, you already know that the end result is a bit underwhelming. Yeah. So, I don't have much intent... I don't have a lot of uh, intention well, of doing it. I'm doing them all. I'm not. I've yeah, done I them do all so far. I'm trying to bank car. I'm trying to karma. I'm trying to bank Swagger so I can get the other stuff that I was originally driving at. But now this is like a big Swagger sink. Yeah, it is. Well, uh... uh... But I haven't been in Aftercore long enough. I mean, you can definitely gain a lot of swagger. I'm just doing it like in the day or two in between runs or something, or the mo the the you know, the moment you break Ronin until you ascend. Like you can yeah. See, uh, a resort pass for t just ten adventures goes for eighty thousand meat. Yeah, it was like two hundred yesterday. Yeah, right? I sold mine for uh, one fifty. But. 
That's how you play the market with these things. Yeah. But this one is like, oh, you get... If you uh, get a thousand swagger, you can get a skill that gets you plus 20% item drop to picnic baskets. Which I think there's only one of in the game. <laughs> which is, oh, which is like, okay, well, that's, that's, that's a reward. That's it. It's a very minor thing that doesn't break the game for anyone. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff there. I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get the Essence of Annoyance, just so I can, like, get snowballs You know and it's shit. a, it's a multi-step, uh... I know it is. I know it is. Because you gotta, like, uh... Every time you get another one... It costs less swagger to cast, and you get more items... But it costs so get, much more to get the next one. And you get different items, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine. I can't. I mean, you'd have to really. Yeah, no, PvP is relatively doing... cheap to. Well, you don't lose. Win. You don't really lose anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't lose anything that you. you... I mean, to, but if you want to uh, buy the five-hour acrimonies and the the food, you know, if you want to buy the stuff that's going to give you PvP fights versus adventures. Because you're not really, because you ran out of after core stuff to do at yeah. Ascension, and you just want, to, and you develop a pretty good outfit, you can win like most fights, like eighty percent of your fights or something. You can win. Yeah, no, that's what if I. If you learned. fight at the right time with the right clothes on, and yeah, letter of the moment and all of that. And it, and if you have like oh good right, one of the B gear, one of the competitions. Uh, this one is basically when was the last time you ascended? <coughs> yeah. No, it's 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 an adventure. Uh, called what was it? Air verb orgy or something. Oh, yeah. Which, which is like grave robbery. Uh, and it's like, you have to get this specific adventure that uh, got you a quest item that basically just ended the run for you. That's it. That's the last time you finished a run. Mm. It's, uh, they usually try to split, the, they divide it between the two things. So it's usually like the lead, like most recently ascended versus. You know, there will be other mini games where if you haven't ascended in a very long time, it'll you'll have the. I advantage. can understand why so many people like. Uh, I can understand why a gameplay discussion like cries so goddamn much about this stuff because that specific competition, the last time you have finished a run, people have the accounts that have never ascended, and they yeah. just do PvP. Like yeah. this is the but one contest that screws also, them over. You also won't get that contest every time. So. <clears throat> I mean, you, you won't. The, you the won't. advantage would be to ascend, do a run as fast as you can, and then, you know, power level as much oh, as yeah. you and can. Oh, yeah, and there's, then there's two other ones, like yeah. most food that you've eaten in Little Canadia. Yeah. Versus <laughs> most most bug bear, <coughs> most time spent in the bugbear pens. So there's no way to win both unless you ascend. Yeah. It's hard. Oh, even if you've never ascended, you will have access to none of this. So, odds are, there's going to be a contest that you're going to lose. It's like admitting that those places are not good. You know? No, exactly. Well, the only time that you go into the bugbear pens is if you want the uh, glyph. And no one goes to Little Canadia. No, but to have the yeah to have the bugbear pens, what do you have to have? You have to have a muscle moon sign, which uh, everyone already has. So, uh, if both of those contests come up. Uh, odds are you're either going to you're either going to tie, which means you don't get the seven to zero, or you you lose one of them. So there's that. I need to do a little Canadia, Canadia, Canadia. I need to do that place one uh, at least one more time to get to round out some factoids. Have you uh, looked at the I... new item of the month? Uh, the Mayo Clinic. Not really. It doesn't. I don't think I'm going to get it. I don't think I'm gonna. I didn't get the little Genesis splicing kit. I did not get the I DNA. I didn't get lab. that either. Because I'm already set on what I want to do with my uh, work sh uh, workshed item. Yeah. Uh, here's... Yeah, it's a workshed item. That's exactly what I what turned me off to it. I was like, uh, no. Yeah. Well, uh, the thing of it is, I read up on it yeah. uh, yesterday and today, and it is like, if you want to put strategy into your runs. This is basically how you do it. Yeah. There's like, uh, there's mayonnaise for friggin' everything. Now that I think about it. Uh, one is like, instead of adventures, it like makes like a smithsness kind of thing. Uh, what does that mean? It, it's like how much mayonnaise is concentrated in your blood. 
Um, and it translates to one of the weapons that you can uh, rent out for uh, the day. Okay. So, you're, you, 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 there's something that converts it from uh, adventures to mayonnaise level, like uh, extra stat gains, plus one adventure. Uh, it, it, it's all it's all stuff that you have to like pay a thousand meat for per. Yeah. So you won't be able to make much use of it early on. Right. But like later on, it's like oh well. Or you could just pull a bunch of meat. <laughs> yeah, or that. I don't know if that well, would be worth it. Either. I don't think it's like worth it. <coughs> it's not worth it if you do a lot of hardcore because most of the time you're like scraping by anyway. Mm-hmm. Or like you're not going to generate much meat anyway. So this is. It's different than the DNA lab because uh, that one you could just like get a syringe, and it's all free. This one you have to actually pay for. You have to pay for the weapons. You have to pay for the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, though. God damn. <laughs> it's a clever pun. Mayo Clinic. But... Yeah. Mayo. Yeah, I always wondered what that was about. Why they called it Mayo. I, I, I mean, is that someone's name? That's a it's thing. It's a thing. I don't know. No, I know it's a thing. I don't know where the, why they call it that, though. I don't know. Odds are it's someone's name. Maybe. Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. There's there's really not enough time uh, and not enough willpower to make this to make another conversation out of this. <laughs> Whatever I was going to talk about, I'll save it for next week. I'll see if I can wedge that in. Yeah. Uh, you're tired. I'm very. Tired. I got back late last night from seeing Avengers. We're we're done. We're done. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you all next week. We'll be yeah. more rested then. Send me a bunch of free stuff in my send email. Mi- send Mike free stuff in his email. <laughs> K-mail. K-mail. K-mail him. Sure, that too. <laughs> well, send him emails. You can get <laughs> gift cards through emails. Yeah, but no one knows my email. And I'm not going to say it right now. Oh, yeah, that's very true. That's very true. Ho- holy crap. Send me Mr. A's. <laughs> and I'll Mr. reward A? you by not being online. There we go. <laughs> All right. We're done here. Okay. Dave Johnson, we're done here.